the 15 most dangerous fish. I like this title because it's very, very matter of a fact. Usually we get like the scariest or like mysterious or something like that. And that's all like opinion. This is the most dangerous. So they literally have to be dangerous. So if there's a fish on here that's not actually even remotely dangerous, can make fun of it. We know more about what's going on out there in the far reaches of outer space than we do about what's dwelling in our own seas. And Not really true. let us tell you, some of the life we do know about is scary enough. Number 15, the piranha. Piranha. Number 15, not even remotely dangerous whatsoever. These are one of the most well- Literally can watch a video of- Alright, well, you know what? Fuck it, let's do it, I guess. Here's a bunch of hungry piranhas, given blood, and food, and then Jeremy Wade swims with them. So... Hungry, blooded up piranhas in a pool with a naked person, and they don't even remotely give a shit. Calling them 15 most dangerous is uh, an exaggeration for sure. And the most surprising thing <laughs> is that plant matter makes up a large part of their diet. So they're actually <laughs> classified as omnivores. So they're non-dangerous to humans and they eat plants. Nice. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. For fuck's sake. Okay. Number 14. The classic fear mongering. Gotta love these channels. Box jellyfish. Box what? jellyfish are some of the most dangerous creatures in the oceans. And if you're ever. 15 most dangerous fish. Most dangerous fish. Jellyfish, sure. If you're unfortunate enough to encounter one when you're swimming, your best <coughs> bet is to get out of the water as soon as possible. But if a person happens to be tangled up in the tentacles, then it's a different story. The toxins they inject cause the cells of the body to become so porous <laughs> that vital nutrients- Yeah, 14th most dangerous fish in the world, and he's smiling while holding its tentacles on his arm. Nice, very dangerous, very cool. Begin to leak out, <coughs> which in turn elevates concentrations of these chemicals. Number 13, the stingray. Stingrays are probably Fair the enough. most recognizable type of rays <coughs> thanks to their long, sharp tails. They produce a powerful venom, which, if injected in sufficient quantities, will lead to extreme pain, <laughs> Why do they speed swelling, up the video? and muscle... <laughs> they look so stupid when you speed up their swimming to make it look really fast. <laughs> sufficient quantities <laughs> will lead to extreme pain, swelling, and muscle cramps, <laughs> and will prevent the wound from healing properly. When you properly, speed up the video, so it looks so dumb. So gives opportunity for an infection to take hold. Number 12, Muscalunge. The muscalunge. How is a muskie even remotely dangerous? They just have big teeth. Also known as the jack pike, they're also a popular species with anglers to catch for sport. But apart from the yeah, they're so dangerous that people frequently catch them for sport, take them out of the water, hold them in their hands barehanded, and take photos. So dangerous. The risk posed by humans, they're the apex predators in their natural habitats. Number eleven. The candy so dangerous. You might expect the most <coughs> dangerous fish in the Amazon basin to be huge with sharp teeth. Dude, another one. Just another pike type fish. This dude has a fear of pike type fish for some reason. Teeth. But there's something much smaller in the waters of the region that has a unique behavior that would bring a tear to even the bravest of people's eyes. The Kandiru has developed a somewhat legendary reputation. Wait, is this the piss fish? Is this the one that swam up the... Well, you know. In humans, though, this can lead to a rather uncomfortable experience catfish. because they're just the right size to fit into the urethra. And okay. once they're there and have extended their sharp spines, yep. the only way to remove them is by amputation. There are... You know what? Fair enough. We'll stay away from the candiru. Countless anecdotal stories of people falling victim to a candiru while swimming or urinating in rivers around the Amazon. <laughs> and while men Okay, I know it's scary, but look at this dude's face. Around the Amazon. <laughs> uh, 
Number 10. The Alligator Gar. The Alligator Gar is a species of- The Alligator Gar and all Gar are not dangerous. Stop fear-mongering on Gar. Thank you. They're very cute. They're very nice. They are not even remotely a threat to humans. They share a number of characteristics with their ancestors. Sharp teeth that can impale prey on the first bite and help to tear the flesh apart for consumption. So dangerous that he's letting it go in the water directly next to him while knee deep in the water. Wow, so dangerous. Number nine, sawfish. Sawfish are an unusual. Not even remotely dangerous to humans. This is insane. It's just every single dangerous video is just the least dangerous fish. It's just they just look scary. I guess that's how you get people to click on the videos, right? You just call it the most dangerous, even though they're not actually remotely dangerous, just because they look kind of scary. Or you want to say that they look scary because they have, you know, razor sharp, whatever. Growing to up to 25 feet long, they are mainly the shark is so dumb looking. Regions, but may also be seen this in warmer rivers and lakes. Well, don't wrap, don't wrap. There are five known species of sawfish. They which, look so after dumb. After centuries of extensive <clears throat> fishing, the saw is also used in self-defense, and this. It's such a weird adaptation. Like you could just have normal teeth. Why do you have the saw? Even if you manage to catch, some, catch something, like hit a fish with your saw, and then you have to incapacitate the fish, you have to get it off, and then you have to go to it to eat it anyways. And during all of that process, there is plenty of a chance for the fish to escape. It's just such a dumb adaptation. Number eight, the electric eel. Not there dangerous. There are several hundred species of fish that I are I mean, in theory dangerous, but never actually dangerous to humans. To produce an electric <coughs> charge. If you were to find yourself in a pond with multiple shocks from- Which no one ever does, so this is an entirely irrelevant point. From several eels, you'd have very little chance to escape before you suffer from cardiovascular failure. Number seven, the goonch fish. The goonch. Just a, a large catfish, okay? Not dangerous at all. There's like one local village that has a tale of a goonch eating a person who is swimming. That's just most likely not true. The person probably just drowned. But sure, yeah, goonch. And while the true perpetrator was a fish they already knew about, goonches had never been known to have acquired such a taste for human flesh before. It's that one's not even a goonch. That some of them were able to grow to an enormous size and became used to eating people because the river was regularly used for Hindu funeral rites. It's possible they were devouring the corpses that were offered to the water. And when these rituals ended, they took to hunting living alternatives. This species is a prime <laughs> example of why- Dude, I love this. these local tales. What an insane local tale to have about this poor catfish rivers can be just as deadly as the ocean. That but sure does sound a lot waters, like drowning. You have even less chance of seeing what's coming for you before it's too late. Number six, Wells catfish. Wells catfish can be found again, not dangerous. I mean, I did talk about how they're giant Wells catfish that I could see being scared of because they're at like man eating size, but calling them in the top, what the six most dangerous fish in the world. Come on. Water regions of Europe. The danger from Wells catfish is the effect they have on marine ecosystems. Especially <laughs> really? Wow. I didn't think it would get so philosophical. They're not dangerous to people. The danger that they have is that they're invasive and that they ruin ecosystems when they invade them. Wow, we really got deep on this one. Number five. I don't think that's necessarily shark. true. While they aren't the wow, biggest Wow, okay. Shark. Yeah, I'll give credit to the bull shark, sure. I would put the bull shark in probably the top five most dangerous fish. They can be found in warm coastal regions around the world, but unlike others, they can survive in both salt water and fresh water. This means they've been seen great distances within river systems and some- Yeah, I mean, they're in rivers and shit. When you take like normal shark habits and people being dumb and then add them into freshwater ecosystems where there are people who aren't even expecting to see sharks and are going to act dumb around sharks. I think it makes sense. ...have been spotted <coughs> as far as 700 miles inland from the nearest ocean. They <laughs> won't think twice about attacking humans, and are one of the three species responsible for the majority of shark attacks. But because they are able to swim up rivers, they're more likely to encounter... Damn. 
Five most dangerous. And our one, one just swims past the dude. Responsible for the majority of shark attacks, but because they are able to swim up rivers, they're more likely. <laughs> He's to just like, oh shit! People. There's a shark Number there. Four, the Great Barracuda. Not even remotely dangerous. The Great Barracuda is a large species of predatory fish that's endemic to the Indian. Pacific and Atlantic. One or two times attacked a diver and has threatened people, but not actually dangerous or has ever killed anyone. And even if they've recently eaten, they will herd fish into a confined area so they're ready to hunt when they're hungry. Attacks on humans are rare. Dude, he does this at, at the end of every single time, every single fish. He's like, well, attacks on humans are rare. Showing any interest or interaction in humans whatsoever is rare. But number three, the stonefish. Hey, we were just saying we hope that they mention the stonefish. They mention the stonefish. Yay, actually dangerous fish. Woohoo. This, of course, instantly incapacitates any fish or other marine creatures. So the stonefish. Look at how weird looking they are. They're kind of cute, them. but also super but weird also looking. But also highly dangerous to humans too. Most human attacks happen as a result of stepping onto one, and the results <laughs> can be fatal. That video was so dramatic. Least, it'll be extremely painful. And the antivenom is the second most frequently administered antivenom in Australia. Number two. Yeah, they don't really look scary, but um, I could see them being dangerous. And hey, I literally just talked about in one of the other videos we watched today that the Goliath tigerfish is one that I would actually consider. The Goliath tigerfish. Goliath tigerfish are native to freshwater habitats across Africa, in particular the Congo <laughs> Basin and Lake Tanganyika. When fully grown, they can measure five feet long and weigh 110 pounds. <laughs> the way he just picks it up. I'm pretty sure the village ate it in that video. I remember that River Monsters episode. He like catches the Goliath tigerfish with the villagers and then they're like, yeah, we eat this. And then he's like, wait, what? No, you can't eat it. It's such a beautiful fish. And they're like, no, we fucking eat this. And he's like, fuck. And then the episode just ends with him being sad that they eat it. <laughs> and it's clear to see why. They only feed on other fish. Oh. And they only feed on other fish. And this is the number two most dangerous fish in the world. And decimate stocks of more valuable species. While there aren't any known fatalities from this species, there are certainly plenty of people with the scars to tell the tale. It's because of this ferocity that the Goliath tigerfish is regarded as one of the- Yeah, I mean, I could see Goliath tigerfish top five. I don't think I'd put him top two. I think the bull shark was far too low, but stonefish is legitimate. Bull shark's pretty legitimate. Stingray is sort of legitimate. Number one. The Great White Shark. Yikes. Great White Shark. Yeah, because Great Whites attack so many people. The alpha predators of the ocean, but are found in particularly high concentrations. Who said, damn, this list was doing so well? No, it was not. This list was not doing that well. I like that we have such a low standard now where it's like out of 15, like three of them are even mildly legitimate, even though they're not anywhere near where they should be. And we're like, wow, this was a solid list. Three out of 15 had some actual research done. Wow. <laughs> Get him out of there. Get him out of there. See. There are no known natural predators and they are by far responsible for the most unprovoked attacks on humans. Worldwide, there are usually one or two deaths per year. But this Holy shit. Most dangerous fish in the world is a <laughs> responsible for one or two deaths a year in the entire world. Bro, fish are so dangerous. This is almost certainly unintended. While they may <laughs> and it's almost certainly unintended. Have you he does backtrack on every pick. He makes a pick and then he's like, well, actually, to be clear, we don't, you know, it's not 100. I mean, you know, sometimes, you know, we don't exactly, you know, not everything is exactly how it, you know. Oh.